Good morning again from the town of Nagoya. It's time, it's time to head to Osaka, 150 kilometers to go. Obviously gonna try to do it all in one day. Walking on the highway now to a service station, which worked very well last time. Um, and yeah, gonna end the hitchhiking journey today, fingers crossed, if another generous Japanese person picks me up. Let's do this. As long and sweaty as this walk is, and I'm still not saying I'm really enjoying it, it has been nice to see this kind of different side of Japan, walking through little villages, the kind of random areas you otherwise maybe wouldn't come to. I've made it to another service station. Don't worry, we're gonna see the beautiful side of Japan in uh, future videos, not just service stations and motorways. Got another sign. This time to Osaka. Yeah, nothing left to do now but hitchhike, I guess. A um, little bit nervous again. It took me 20 minutes to find a lift last time. I think that was good. I think that was like lucky. So I'm thinking it's going to take a bit longer this time. Only one way to find out. Let's go. Uh, I think this is the way. Pretty prime spot. Plenty of time to pull over. Let's begin. Osaka? Osaka? Huh? Yeah? No? When they slow, look at me and slow down, it's really sad. Um, I've had one offer to go to Nagoya, which is, which is good. Oh, and I'll take that, at least people are willing. Um, I saw the camera down, because no one's gonna pick me up while I'm doing this. Uh, yeah, let's continue. Surely someone's gonna be crazy enough to take me. <laughs> Arigato! Oi, thank you very much. Hello. Konnichiwa. Oh, you go to Osaka? Osaka. Shin Osaka Station. Okay, perfect, perfect. Arigato, arigato. Wow, you, is this a, the television? Television. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Are you from? Uh, England. England? Yes, from London. Oh, London. Vacation? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, is there a seat belt? Oh, seat belt. No, no. Okay, 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 no problem, no problem. What a got? <laughs> Your age? Uh, 27. 27. 27. <laughs> Do you live in Osaka? Uh, Your home? Uh, Kobe. Kobe. Oh, Kobe. Oh, okay. That is where the, the beef is, right? No, okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kobe beef. <laughs> what are your names? Uh, Shinya. 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 Masumi. 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 Uh, Eddie. 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 Okay. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Where in Osaka are you planning to go? I don't know. <laughs> no plan. <laughs> well, my, my girlfriend, she gets here on Thursday. Uh, oh. So then, then we will we will do stuff. But until then, I'm probably the museums. All right, so after about 25, 30 minutes, I think, of standing there, this insanely nice Japanese couple, I think they're a couple, I'm not sure, and it's, it's not polite to ask these things in Japan, um, pick me up, they go all the way to Osaka, they were on the way from, they've come in from Tokyo, they sell dog food, they got a load of dog food in Tokyo, um, yeah, they're taking me all the way to Osaka, jobs are good, and we're just talking with Google Translate, which I kind of prefer rather than having broken-ish conversations where it's like they give me lots of recommendations for Japan asking about where I've traveled I'm asking them lots of things they give me snacks and just being really nice it's I don't want to like film all of this stuff because like when you're having these wholesome authentic moments with people you don't want to pull a camera out um and yeah we're just at a service station now another very uh nice Japanese service station and we're about 45 to an hour, I think, in already. So there's like another hour to go. Yeah, it's great. It's good vibes. Good vibes in our car. You know. 
Himeji? Himeji, no. Himeji. Uh, Himeji oh. Castle. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, that looks beautiful. Japanese castle. Where, um, wh where, where is it? Hyogo. Uh, Hyogo. Hyogo. Himeji city. Okay. Himeji. Himeji. Ah, uh, here. Here. Oh. Himeji. Okay, arigato. Arigato. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Arigato. Thank you so much. Thank you. Jane. Bye. 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 So I was in the women only carriage and I didn't realise for like five stops I was literally looking around like why is there so many women in this carriage? Then I realised but typical Japanese just so polite they didn't like no one even batted an eye they're just like oh foreigner give them a free pass. What a day again hitchhiking always you start off being like oh what am I doing? Why am I doing this? As soon as you get a lift I think the people who pick up hitchhikers are just always like nice people they like, you have to be a certain type of person to do that like those two were so nice gave me so much food i had like wasabi crisps i had like a weird fish on a stick with cheese in the middle i, I don't even know what it is and then like dried fish like you get in the philippines but like with sauce where it's just like the fish hole little fish hole um all really good great people great day as always um, it always turns out to be a good day when you're hitchhiking. Made it to Osaka, the journey is over, the hitchhiking journey of 500 kilometers is done. And yeah, I'm sleeping now. I'll probably do a few things around Osaka before we pick up Tilly from the airport. Jobs are good. Shout out to the people of Japan, helping me out. Whoa. Konnichiwa. And welcome back to Osaka. Uh, nearly killed a woman. Despite uh, costing £10 a night, same value, uh, my hotel has given me this bike to use for free. So the plan is to head to Osaka Castle, but before that, let's get some food. Another example of the insane efficiency in Japan. No need to order inside or pay inside. And the only reason I have any idea how to use this is because I was here yesterday and I was standing outside there for about... Um, for about five minutes? Uh, with no idea what was going on until someone came and helped me. I just left my change in the machine and they came running in to give it to me. People here are just so nice. Um, and I've ordered, I think, I had to confirm when I came in, pork ramen and then chicken egg fried rice. Okay, I was close. We've got pork with egg fried rice. And I don't know what this is. I think some kind of kimchi or like pickled good. I thought I'd done it. I thought I'd used the machine well. I thought I was a pro now. I left my change in there. I ordered the wrong thing. Japan is not easy, but it's part of the fun and this looks good anyway. I 
and now the Romans arrived, so maybe I was right after all, and we just got... I don't know, like some extra meat? Who knows? Arigato! I'm now insanely full from all that amazing Japanese food. The food here is just so good. When Tilly arrives tomorrow, she's gonna have an absolute field day. Um, the castle is about five kilometers away. So I'm gonna cycle through the city to get there. Let's go. This is definitely the best way to get around Japan. I was actually planning on buying a bike and just cycling it around Japan before Tilly got here, but there's a lot of mountains once you get out of the cities. Uh, so it wasn't worth it, but yeah, this is really fun. And there it is, in all its glory. Osaka Castle. Let's get a ticket, get inside. So I went right to the top, which we are meant to start, and then work your way down. And the view is amazing, don't get me wrong, but it's really crowded. There's just loads of people trying to get fucking selfies. It feels busy here. All right, let's do the museum. That was pretty cool. The castle itself is amazing. The museum on the top floor is like interactive 3D. It's quite loud and a bit crowded. It's good for kids, I guess, but as you get a bit further down, it's more just quiet reading, which is what I prefer, but each to their own. The museum is mainly about Toyo, Toyotomi Hideyoshi. It was basically a Japanese like peasant farmer child who somehow rose to become the ruler of Japan built the castle or most of it uh, as like his seat of power in the country and then they fall over backwards that was until the Tokugawa family deposed him took over Japan and then added a lot to the castle but then it was struck by lightning in the 1600s and burnt down and the modern tower that we see now was actually built in 1931 and miraculously survived constant air raids during World War II and yeah pretty damn amazing aesthetically it is incredible uh, you just you just don't make things like that anymore all right that's a wrap Amazing castle, the hitchhiking journey across Japan, 500 kilometers done. Tilly gets here tomorrow, then the real exploring of Japan begins. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little taster. Drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you on the next one.